Good, no? Yeah! Okay, I think we lost them. See, si. we're good. You ride well. You're not bad yourself. Where did you learn to shoot like that? The military academy. 16 to 21. Mm, we can use that. I also make a me mojito. <laughs> Believe that when I taste it. Haven't had anything but Philly septic tank shit for weeks. I'm going to pretend that's not a thing. Seems like Castillo's made things pretty rough out here. His nephew Jose is the real problem for us. We call that tiny bastard Napoleon the Pequeño. Little Napoleon? You! The name is cuter than the man. The Monteros have been on this land for 200 years, and now he's turned it all into slave camps for that Vivido bullshit. Jose works our people non-stop with a gun to the head. Come Mierda even took my papa. He was in those fields too long. Poison made him sick. Not that he'd ever admit it. Now Papa leads a little revolution of his own. You're going to need Libertad if you want to stop Castillo. You're not the first one to tell me that. But Papa's got a bit of pride in him. Only trust his own blood. You're a Montero or you're a nobody. So what you're saying is, I'm fucked. <laughs> I, I don't know. There's something different about you. You're not like the others Clara said. Maybe he'll like you. Maybe. How far away is this camp of yours? Not far. You in a rush? No, no, it's okay. Get you some good cardio in. What's going on? You're in the West now, Guerrero. The sword and the hero! <laughs> nice to see you two alive. Not all find it, Hannah. Huh? Oh. It was all trouble, but lucky for you, this one's good. <laughs> well, you're just in time. I'll have his making dinner. Bullshit. Who's that? My name is... I'm not asking you. Easy, Papa. This is Danny from Libertad. Libertad don't mean shit to me. And where's our blindfold? Papa, look around. These are farmers, not fighters. You want Chorizo to go out and blow up Napoleon and Pequeño? Hey, 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 hey. Leave Chorizo out of this. Our people need to learn to be a guerrilla, Camila. From us. That's why I'm here. Don't look like no guerrilla to me. All I see is a tourist. The tourist fucks us. It's on you, Camila. He likes you. Welcome to Finca Montero, hero. Come on, Choris. Save it for the buddy. Come on. Danny, 
your best Erast Van Doren impression. Who? Erast Van Doren. The fam <laughs> Detective and Boris Akunin's novels? Konyo Danny, his books are in 35 languages. Forget him. Got a mystery for you. Sure. What happened? I sent some guerrillas to Rio de Plata to grab a C4 shipment. They went dark. Gets weirder, too. I picked up Russian radio transmissions. Looks like Yara's old allies came back to fuck with Libertad. You think they took the C4? Not sure. That's why I'm calling you, Erast Van Doren. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the case. Help. No. They drew first blood, not me. Who the hell is this? Don't push it. I'm hanging up now, asshole. Wait, 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 wait. Just answer me this. You recognize those lines? Sure. That's Rambo. First blood, right? Ha! I knew it. It's really you. Really who? What do you want? I want what they want. And every other guy who came over here and spilled his guts and gave everything he had once for our country to love us as much as we love it. What the hell does that even mean? You know, I don't actually know. But anyway, just come meet me at my top secret base. I need your help. You can't say top secret and not tell me where it is. Okay, fine. Bentosa Peninsula. On the double. Mm. Clara, I made contact with the Monteros. How did it go? Well, Carlos wants nothing to do with me, but I get along with his daughter. I think she's my way in. You need to understand them. Become one of them. First step is understanding this camp. I'm going to have a look around. Okay, Danny. Take care of yourself. Glad Papa didn't scare you off. Hey, Chorizo. Guess what I got. I need your help to find the lieutenant. Our soldier friend said he saw Napoleon El Pequeño's private island. So you and me are going to take a boat from a dock in Siniestra to Cayo Ria Real. We take out this Singao and Jose's whole operation crumbles. But keep this between you and me, okay? Papa's got enough stress to deal with right now. See you at the boat. Lost tourist? Listen, Carlos. I know you don't trust me, or Clara, or Libertad. Or well, the other little come mierda she sent. And I don't blame you. We have no history here. You got that right. What else you know? I know that Napoleon El Pequeño stole your land. I know that the poison he sprays on your fields is killing your people. I know that you are sick. And you would rather die than ask for help. Don't throw anything away that you can use. The depot where they store the poison? Burn it to the ground. The dusters. Let's spray the tobacco. Rip them apart. The fumigators in the fields. Kill them all. You got a heffy. Send me a postcard.
You need to freshen up that gear. <laughs> I'm Lola, aka Goddess of Goods and Gossip. I sell everything from guns to toilet paper on the black market, and none of that one ply bullshit either. My products are premium plush. Normally, I wouldn't suggest we take a road trip into the mouth of hell, but in this case, hell is threatening to swallow Yara. I wouldn't suggest we take a road trip into the mouth of hell, but in this case, hell is threatening to swallow Yara. Got a bad deal. Libertad better step up. Coños de guerrilla. What can I do for you, Danny? Benito. Be like being a pirate again. We need resources, intel, allies. Only you can get them. I'll send you anyone I rescue. They will be happy to stick at the one point. Soon, you'll have your own little pirate army. Benitos bandidos. <laughs> the work never ends. I can't lie to you. I like the sound of that. Start sending people my way, and I'll keep an ear to the ground for opportunities. Viva Libertad! Viva Libertad! Taking a lot of risks for one lieutenant. You want to complain? You can swim. Nice boat. Is it yours? No, I stole it. Papa taught me how to hotwire tractors when I was a kid. Boats aren't so different. Hey, we have to get Carlos a doctor. Hmm. Good luck. He's coughing blood. He needs help. Papa took me fishing once, south of Costa del Mar. He's a hell of a rancher, but a shit fisherman. No patience. Couldn't cast. Kept snagging his line on the bottom. Even hooked himself in the lip. <laughs> Got so pissed, he threw a stick of dynamite in the water. Killed a lot of fish, but also put a fucking hole in our boat. We swam five kilometers back to shore. All these boats stopped to help, but Papa told them to fuck off. What does this have to do with Carlos being sick? I'm saying that the day Carlos Montero gets help, is the day hell freezes over, Danny. Coño, you Monteros are stubborn. Not me, just Papa. <laughs> sure, sure. Shut up. Fucking tobacco. It was supposed to make our people rich. That's what Anton said anyway. See, si, that's how he got elected. Yes, and a lot of us voted for him. We believed in his promises. We thought it was going to be like the old days again. Like some kind of fantasy. We were so fucking wrong. If we want to change things, someone has to whip us all into shape. Bring us together. And it's not going to be Papa. So Carlos doesn't have a plan? His plan is don't tell anybody what the fuck you're feeling, ever. Don't trust anybody either especially your own daughter. 
Just fucking react to whatever Napoleon el Pequeño throws your way. He's old school. Reminds me of my headmaster in the orphanage. Strict, tough as shit. But if he liked you, he had your back for life. Hmm. That kind of thinking is gonna get us all killed. We can't keep reacting to Jose. It's not working. We need to try new things. Be agile. Stay one step ahead of that little hijo de puta until he's dead. I'm with you. Good answer, Danny. Mierda. Smoking Mexican. Tobacco out here has been vivido. Can't even smoke our own anymore. Come mierda. Shit. ¿Qué pasó? Jose fucking Castillo. Anton's bitch of a nephew. Lo veo y no lo creo. What's he doing? He's, uh, he's... With the lieutenant we were looking for. It's more like a scientist. Stick Jose out. No. You might hit the lieutenant. Scientist is going. Let's search his place for intel. Let's go. Maybe his friend by the helipad can help. Medics on duty. I guess you didn't hear about Munoz and Julio. What about them? That's who we were replaced. Nobody's heard from them since they were stationed. We want to send it. Oh. I told my wife to go ahead and buy their house. Well, she still can. Get the one Intel on where that scientist went. Madre de Dios. It says Jose has a villa on the north side of the island.
think Jose's got a computer around here. Shit. Special forces. No password, idiota. Let's see what we got here. El Pequeño has a fucking torture chamber filled with outcasts. It's under the lighthouse just south of here. Cojones. Can you let me in? Done. I'll stay and see what else I can find. Suerte, Danny. Gracias a Dios por ti. Gracias. José es un monster. Easy. Espada. José was using this place as his own little torture chamber. He had outcasts in there, but I freed them. Enfermo mental. I shouldn't be surprised. Good work, though, Danny. I found where that scientist works. The Singao we saw earlier. His lab's in Revmira. Meet me there. Okay. Then how are you gonna tell me what's really going on? You'll know when I need you to know. He asked me to send you a photo of what the poison looks like. I've messed with poison before, but that's real thoughtful of him. I wouldn't go that far. Papa doesn't trust outsiders, but I've seen what you can do. Check the photo. And show him you know what the fuck you are doing. No 
cosa. ¡Ay! Ya me he muerto. 